Come on in. My name is Bill Tobin, and this is your Restaurant Leadership 365 Flash Briefing for Tuesday, October 13th, 2020. As restaurant leaders, we naturally want to reward our staff who are dependable and do great work for us. But sometimes when staff are rewarded and others are not, feelings of favoritism can surface. In fact, you may be playing favorites and not even know it. Examples of favoritism in the workplace include giving good shifts or important tasks to the same people, overlooking the mistakes of some but writing others, accepting vacation requests for some but not others, hanging out with select staff outside of work, and giving raises to some but not others. But how do you reward your best staff without the perception of favoritism? Start first by following these steps to eliminate the perception. Number one, be transparent and communicate why certain staff are given good shifts or important tasks. If staff understand your decision-making process, they're less likely to complain. Number two, rotate sections in the restaurant so that everyone has a chance for better sections. If everyone has an opportunity to succeed, then the reasons to grumble diminish. Number three, find common ground with staff and get to know all your staff better. Common interests help overcome feelings of negativity. Number four, make a point to talk to everyone who works under you. Regular and honest feedback can help establish trust with employees. And number five, avoid bad-mouthing employees in front of other employees. It's unprofessional and will only bolster the idea that you play favorites. With the perception of favoritism diminished, it'll be easier to reward your people for doing a good job. So your task for today, learn to avoid the perception of favoritism in your restaurant. Now go make it happen. Do you have a comment or a tip for restaurant leaders? Text me at 808-201-0550 or find me at restaurantleadership365.com. This is Bill Tobin. Thanks for coming in. See you tomorrow.